once more that he stays a bit more supple during the transition. Think about preparing a new flexion before you move him over. Good boy. Little collection in it still. Little more collection and he doesn't rush. Good. Exactly. 
it, he has got this great swinging impression, and then you see it gets a little strong, yeah. you know? So you have to say to yourself, you have to make that a little lighter all the time. Okay. Because also I'm sure you go in the test and say, well, that's not as big as he could do it. Yeah. Because there's a little tension. So you have to be able to make him a little, a little more supple, a little more relaxed. But relaxed not in a way like he's, he's never going to fall asleep. You need to tell he's a little hot, actually. Yeah. Which yeah. again, like you look at him stand there and you're like, that's not a hot horse. <laughs> and then you see him go and you go, oh yeah, that is a hot horse. Yeah. Well, play a little through that, and you, you like again. You stick to your program, and you say, "Now I would do canter," or "Yeah, I want to really see where I, I, I make the trot." Usually go to uh, canter first. Perfect. And then let's, since you said you wanted to work on the pirouettes a little bit, let's do that first. That takes probably the most power. Yes. So do it a little early, you know, that if you're not doing pirouettes after. 45 minutes of riding. And again, it's addressing how you normally would, okay? And then we'll see, I want to see the mechanics, I want to see what he does. Do not be afraid of a mistake. Mistakes are going to happen. while he learns, but the little stuff, you don't like that, now wait longer, collect the walk, put him a little more together, make the walk score a little higher by just positioning him correct, yeah, yeah, oh, you still, you still think, that's a big mistake, what's happening, you went from, okay, seven collected walk to, ah, five and a half, you know, good, good, then canter, and there can be no variation. Uh-huh, <laughs> take time, good. 
Very good. Go back to the exercise with your little quarter pirouettes, a little out, a little, a little back in. Your goal is to be able to get in and out of the pirouette anytime you want. Left leg. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, 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 not forward. Not forward. Staying in the collection. Uh huh. More transitions. Good. A little turn. We could we could get out of your way. Don't think you have to go around us. Good. Back in. Back in. Back in. Only one stride out. One stride out. Two three strides in. One stride out. Yeah. Good. That it's less smoothing and more working. supple up there. Uh-huh. Good for you. Good for you. You can give even more subtle in the rain contact. You don't have to push the hand that forward because then you have to reconnect. Huh? So give, give a little often. Take your time until you're ready. Yeah. Little more collected for the show ring. Uh, that's a good good timing. He's not allowed to fall on the forehand in the facade. Good for you. Take your time. A little haunches over to the left. Right leg a little back when it gets irregular behind. There's totally regular. Keep the haunches slightly positioned left. 
Good for you. And make them light up there. Good. Good. Good boy. Okay. And when you're ready, then you transition in to Piaf. And then I want to see what it looks like first. Keep the arms slightly positioned left. You feel good to the right, huh? Then he tries to do everything on the right hind. Good for you. Good, stick to it. Very good. Good boy. Keep the haunches a little position left again. Good. Almost sat down too far. Good job. Good job. Carefully out. You see, it lurches a little again out, huh? So in that passage, piaf passage transition, find the half step. I like when you said, I like to try to get him passaging almost on the spot. That can be a half step for him. Uh-huh, and back in again. Playing with it, back and forth. Get all the way into the piaf. Uh, now let him lurch his way out of there. In the piaf, and you stick to it a little longer. And piaf, bring him back, take the wrist, take the wrist. Patient, a little more on the spot. Good boy, good boy. Cut, cut. I agree, I agree. Stick to it. Right back to Pia. Good, talk to him. Good boy. Ho, ho. Back again, back again. Have him sit in the Pia now a little longer. Good in the foot And have the feeling and now the back on the spot. Good. Close it like a little on. Uh -huh. Don't jerk him, don't get him so out of there. When he quits on you, make the correction, but you want to stay in Piaf, yeah? Make sure when you make corrections, you want the horse to get better. Good, excellent. Carefully out. Uh-huh, back in and repeat the transition. He has to think passage on the spot. Think passage on the spot. Good, that was a great correction. And careful, careful, still good, still good. Take time, very good. Ho, ho, ho. Keep a little correction to it, that's right. Good, walk and praise him for that little breather for a moment. Good job, good. That's a big thing. If he halts, yeah, get after him. But you want to get after the horses in a way where you go, it gets better. You know what I mean by that, huh? Yeah, I feel like it, you know, if you get sticky or kind of dull, uh -huh. then I can, you know, overcorrect a little bit, then he... Then he explodes a little on you, yeah. And then we're gonna do it again, and I wanna see if he gets a little, like you said, a little sticky, a little dull, if you can turn him a little bit. It's good for a horse like this to practice a little piaf pirouette. On my big horse is a little like this. I start my piaf a little diagonally into the corner in the Grand Prix. I go like this. I go piaf over here, and then I turn him a little, and I go, okay, passage out. And when I passage out left, he's already turned a little bit. But if I keep him dead straight like that, mm -hmm. he usually makes a mistake. He usually takes a little walk break. <laughs> okay, let's see him this way a little bit. I like, almost think like he could go a little, a little on the forehand to come out of the, the piaf, okay? okay? That he thinks of it a little easier because he gets a little hollow and he comes so high out of it, yeah. you know? That's when he lurches. So think like you're saying, here, just drop a little forward and then you say, oh, keep us up. Uh-huh. Good for you. Okay, you want to make it better, sit, and a little tap, 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 good, 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 come, good for you, that I like the patience, good, now you can get out of it, but you want it to get better, uh-uh, sit, good, 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 see that lasted half the time though, because you're thinking, I cannot let him get out away from me, takes a half a walk stride, bring him back again, take passage on the spot, on the spot, and transition, Pia, good, Good, think passage on the spot. Don't think too forward. Let it drop a little, yeah. Good, good, 
Good. And careful out. And half up. You still good? Still good? Half. Good timing. That was good. That took him to really practice. Because he still, he still gets you in your lower back, huh? Do it once or twice more. Think passage on the spot, on the spot, on the spot. And transition piaf. And I know what you're going to say next. You're going to say, when I carefully come out, I feel like I'm a little stuck. Yeah. Live with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's 15 strides. Start at 10. Yeah, good. Careful out. He's still good. Still good. Yeah, yeah good save. Then he wanted to really lurch there. Think passage on the spot. That's how he's got to learn transition. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Piaf again. Oh, good. Yeah, good, yeah. And out, careful, good. Let him drop. Now say, okay, passage. And half a, good for you. Half a, that collect that a little more. I got a little too forward, huh? Yeah. Couple him a little through again. Collect it a little more, collect it a little more. Back, back. Good. Good, good. For the transition again. Couple half steps this time. Just a little bit back. Okay, in, out. Good, half of that. Good work. Good job. Good. Little walk break for that. Great. Yeah, you're just going to have to. It's good to do it like this on a circle. Okay. You know, not always like the Grand Prix or like the I2. It's good that they just have to practice and practice and practice, you know? It's good. Now you kept them in the Piaf. The Piaf is fine like that. It doesn't have to go higher in the front. Okay. It's regular, it's good timing, and have to learn to come back more, and that's it, you know? Okay. He doesn't, it's actually, he sits real well. I thought I was going to see this, you know, where they lean on it and then just go uh -huh. like that behind, uh -huh. and then they go, yeah. <laughs> And what needs to get better and better is that transition. Okay. Yeah? And I like when he goes a little like this, and then you go, okay, now pass off. Okay. He, he's got to learn to transition in between this way. Mm -hmm. You know, and that sense, because he sits sometimes so far, right, that you feel like you're going to topple over backwards. Yes. Yeah. When you feel that he should go a little, a little on the forehand, but he's already so much sitting, you know, that it's fine. If he wasn't sitting at all, we would never say that, but he's sitting so much, you can stand to go a little forward and down. Yeah, I felt that um, when he sits too much and he maybe gets a little panicky, or, and then I go in the test, if I go across the diagonal for my extension, it's like... I bet. Like, me out. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, here's my chance to get away from her. <laughs> I just need to get my time. If my timing's perfect, he's fine. He doesn't. Really? Yeah, Great. he's fine. It's just I haven't developed the neurons to be uh, fast and coordinated. It's a tough thing. It took me forever. I used to ride with Ron Eagle when I learned them, and he would go, What the heck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you rather go? You want to go to the Tempe's next and do a little trotting at the end? You want to trot now? <laughs> the, same, the same, you know, address them like you normally would. If you do fours, threes, twos, or if you say, no, I can just go right to it. I have to just see a little first, okay? Okay. Yeah, I love how subtle your aid is, and sometimes he's not going to respond because it's so little. Yeah. Good. Good.
Good mechanics on the chains, very nice. I think when you start one ten piece, he's got a fairly large swinging chain. Try to make him a little smaller. You'll want it to be easy for him when he learns. And again, you do those wherever you normally would, okay? Good for you. Good for you, good timing. Try not to push him too forward in the corrections, okay? He's forward enough. Maintain some degree of collection, even in the one tempi. Good. Good for you. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I mean. So every quote unquote air you have, good job. Pretty legged, you can barely see it move. Every quote unquote air you have, he lurches like that, you know? But keep him a little rounder, a little softer. Keep asking, you got it. Good. Excellent. Very nice. The longer it, it was going on, the more tipped forward and tight you got, okay? He's doing a lot of them actually for you. So just go along a little bit, clock, not too forward. Not too forward, yeah. Keep clocking a little. Excellent. Very good. Walk and really pet him for that. Uh-huh, good. That's the, you have to just, the, the one ten things are that way. Horses do one ten. Everything else we have to cue, you know? But the best way to do ones is that the horse goes, oh, Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and just skip along, you know, and then you can do them anywhere. That was super. I like the whole system. Of, I want to change the thing with that. Okay. You go one, 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 and he goes, oh, okay, I can do more. It's a perfect way for them to learn. And then, you know, like over there, he started without you, yeah. and you were good enough to go, okay, one, 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 and that's when he was like, oh, a bunch of them, I got it. Yeah. It's perfect. Okay. That's the way to do it. Awesome, now we have enough time to try after a little break. Very, very good. And it's so good to do them on the rail for a while. Yes. Because that'll, help, that'll keep them straight. It's really good. Exactly where you are right now. I was there too. And it's it's the same principle that we just talked about with the one ten piece. You have to get to that point where he does a little for you. You put it back together, and then you get, I want to see you know where you're gonna go, and just go a circle or straight right now. Where is your cadence trot? He's very good at passage, so have some of it. Good. Have some passage tendency in there. Just don't let him get slow behind. An inch rounder, a little softer. A little cadence up in a little more activity. A little quicker activity. Yep. Good. There is, to me, that's the trot. And that's the minimum drop. Good, good. Half all that, sit a little stronger. Don't let him push you out of the saddle. Good, good. School a half pass across. Does not have to be steep the first one. That gets a little flat on you over C. Keep a degree of cadence. Half off. more expression there. Here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. Good. Fine. Don't let him get a little quick and, and choppy. Keep the expression. Yeah, there. That's your trot. That's a collected trot. 
Good. Very good. Next time, go across the arena and make it a little steeper. Like thinking towards the Grand Prix half fast. This arena is wide, though, okay? Keep a degree of collection. One, two, one, two. Good boy. Little half a little steeper. Left hind over. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, good. Well done. Not more. That's the expression you need. A little cane and stop again. Not that it gets flat. Straight ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. It's got to stay right there, okay? Not more forward and not flatter. That's it. Right there. And that looks more manageable, too. You go past that, you. You're on his good graces, and that won't last forever, you know? Good schooling the half pass. Take up the passage. You see how it gets a little quick and flat? There. There. Good. Keep going. Half up, inner leg. Uh-huh. Good. Very good. Half pass, zigzag. Half pass, zigzag when you're ready. No spooking. <laughs> <laughs> You go half past right five meters, half past left ten meters, half past right. Okay, no there's no spooking. Take time, get your trot back. Take massage now, make them do something. Massage, get a drill. Good, good. Half past right five meters, half off, take massage, take massage. Good, good, go on the floor left. And have that over. Good. 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 And five meters, spin it in. Good changes of bend. Yeah, nice. That's your trot. Good. One extension when you're ready. You can see the difference. Collection still. That's a girl. Good boy. Love that. That's very cool. 